Hi, I'm James Warren from OA Systems. Quick note about this video, it's being filmed in March 2020. So we have a lot of our clients who are currently working from home. Uh, and with that, uh, they're using their environments and uh, heavily investing in teams to be able to keep communication going uh, while people are not coming into the office. And in this video, what we're gonna show is how Teams works with Dynamics 365 uh, and how you can keep everybody on top of what's going on in the environment uh, while they're not working on site together. So you'll see in this environment, I've spun up a browser version of Teams. I've also got a Dynamics environment set up. I've installed the desktop version of Teams. Uh, and what we're gonna do here is uh, go in and have a quick look of how the system's set up today. So I'm gonna go into a recent contact that I've worked with, which is Jim Glynn here. Uh, and as you can see, when I come into the record and you look at the navigation, um, we've basically got some functionality up here, but there is no Teams integrated with this system right now. So the way we do that is in an environment where somebody's set up with an admin level access, um, you come into the settings, select administration, click on the system settings, and there you'll see uh, there is the Microsoft Teams integration. And enable basic uh, Microsoft Teams integration. Uh, as you see, it does require a system admin. So we're going to turn that on. And for right now, uh, because this is going out to all people who aren't on the Wave 2020 environment, we'll do an update once that comes out, uh, which is when the enhanced functionality comes. Uh, but for right now, we'll go through the process of setting up the um, basic collaboration and show you what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see, uh, that's configured in the environment. We we'll just close that and we'll go back to that contact record. And if we refresh the page, you'll see that in the navigation, we now have the option to collaborate in Teams. So I'll just click that button and you'll see what that's going to do for the first time is it will pop open this Collaborate with Teams uh, Get Started page. Open that. Uh, and ask you to add in this connection. So when you come in, uh, you come in and you select the environment you want to make that connection for. And it will ask for your admin level permissions to get that connected. Uh, and you'll see uh, when you come in here, uh, you can uh, get some training around uh, what sort of things you can do. So you'll see when you come and click on the um, icon here, you now have that Dynamics environment where you can come and finish the configuration. So you come into the settings tab and finish the configuration. We'll just say we want that because I have multiple environments here. Um, and I'm just going to go for the uh, sales scenario in here. And once that's configured, you can go click on my dashboard to see a view of the dashboards inside Dynamics. Um, if any of you have been using the mobile uh, app version of the system, this should look reasonably familiar the controls down here. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go and start a new team and we're going to go create one. Um, in this case we'll build a team from scratch um, and we want it to be organizational wide so anyone can join it and the team name is going to be um, Jim's, Jim's Opportunities. So you'll see what that means in a moment. So if we go and click on Jim's opportunities, what we can do is in here, we can go and add a Dynamics link into this group. And when it goes to configure the environment, it'll ask you what you want to connect to. So you'll see you can actually connect to contacts, accounts, opportunities, just a range of records. Um, in this case, held it inside the um, sales app um, and I'm just going to I'm just going to select Jim here and save that
and you'll see Jim's record is successfully connected. So we are going to be able to go in and see his contact page. So if we want to post some information about Jim, um, we can have a chat with the team. We can also see any files that are connected in SharePoint to his contact record. And we can jump into that contact page anytime. Um, and if we're using any other of the add-ins through Teams, they will all be available for us to connect them through to Jim's account here. So I'm sure your imagination can take you away with how your team can work with that, how you can add people, um, add any information that you want to capture around that, but it does bring that Teams integration together so that you can have a specific area for Teams to come in and be able to work on an opportunity, onboarding an account. Basically, any of the concepts you can do inside Dynamics today and have that Teams integration to keep everything close. You can also pin that channel so it stays at the top, um, get any channel notifications so that other people can be notified as the team is coming in and making notes around uh, this particular channel. And I'm sure there are lots of other things we can do there. As I mentioned, um, coming in the April update, we are seeing that they are bringing the enhanced functionality. As that's not officially released yet, what I'll do is I'll take this video and add an update at the end. So you should see an updated version of this video coming uh, within about a month's time. If you have any questions about using Teams with Dynamics, uh, please feel free to reach out to me at OA Systems. Um, and hopefully your team is safe and able to work together well remotely uh, during this time. We'll try and put up other videos specifically around how Dynamics can be used in this case, uh, but I thought Teams was the first cab off the rank that would be useful.